An absolutely huge week if you're a person who likes living on Earth and cares about what happens to it. Pope Francis, you may have heard, visited the U.S. last week, urged immediate action on climate change in a number of speeches, including powerful remarks he gave to a joint meeting of Congress. Hillary Clinton, Democratic presidential frontrunner, came out against the Keystone XL pipeline. And China, the biggest polluter on the planet, announced it will adopt a cap-and-trade program to limit carbon emissions. Today, Another stunning headline. Shell announces it will stop its massively controversial bid to drill in the Alaskan, Ar Alaskan Arctic, years-long endeavor costing $7 billion. That's billion with a B. Shell says it ended exploration for the foreseeable future, citing not only those high costs, but also admitting it just didn't find enough oil. Company also noting the unpredictable federal regulatory environment in offshore Alaska. Shell's decision to end its Arctic exploration speaks not only to the shifting economics of fossil fuels in the era of climate change, but also to the power of grassroots activism. Controversy has followed the company's quest to drill in the Arctic ever since the Obama administration approved the project. That quest has been met with months of dramatic protests, from activists boarding one of Shell's drill rigs to a flotilla of kayaktivists blocking that drill rig, to protesters repelling off a bridge in an effort to stop an icebreaker ship. As The Guardian notes, the company privately began to admit it had been surprised by the popular opposition it faced. Today, climate activists took a victory lap. Environmentalist Bill McKibben tweeting a photo of one of the kayak protests, noting, Shell thought about another summer of this, and they blinked. And that's remarkable. If activism did factor into Shell's decision to call it quits in the Arctic, that is a huge win for a small and dedicated group of people who don't often get this kind of result. Next, I'll talk with one of the most influential climate activists in the country. My conversation with Tom Steyer is ahead.